hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for today so we created one video regarding the flashing of bliss os 17 and 14 for poco x2 aka redmi k30 that was just the installation part but today we are going to discuss everything about this custom rom like what's new gets in this custom rom under about phone section what's working in this build what's new features new bliss is offering we also check out which Android 14 features are working in this build and at the last we shown some missing feature with the performance and the bugs present in the ROM. So you can able to decide you can use this build as a daily driver or not. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. Please follow the installation as you shown in the previous video. So our device started to boot into the amazing boot animation of new Bliss OS 17. So this ROM is based on the new latest Android 14 sources with the new Google's upside down cake animation. Security patch is of November 2023. Kernel version is 4.14.288. It's built it with the latest Proton Clang tool chain 13. With the lots of optimizations, kernel is enforcing so it's more secure. If you check out the Bliss version details, its version number is 17 with the code name Universe. Developers and maintainer is Sripal. This is the official build provided by the Bliss team. This ROM is built on the 12th of December 2023. If you ask me, are all essential features are working in this ROM, then answer is yes. But there are some other issues that we will discuss under the bug section of this video. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth with the HD audio codecs, GPS, front camera and notch is well aligned with the display. These things are working. NFC is not present in this device. Other important things like ear speakers, mic, display, multi-touch, all these functions are working properly. While there are some important sensors have some bugs that we will check later. IR blaster is present in this device and it's working with this ROM. 3.5 mm jack is also present and it's working along with the FM or radio connections too. Surprising part is that though the device bootloader is unlocked, wide one security is L1. As Snap safety net is getting passed, so we can use all the banking application within the ROM. Side mounted fingerprint is also working good. QLT incoming and outgoing calls are working without any sound issues and it, it has core recording feature which is working. Wi-Fi calling option is available and it's working. ROM comes with the new Lineage OS Aperture Camera application which is a basic one. So we'll test the Shamim's Gcam build on this ROM. It has almost all the things working like the zoom, wide angle camera modes, night sight, HDR plus modes, slow motion, time lapse etc. Different video stabilization modes like standard, locked, active and cinematic etc are available. Video recording is working up to 4K 30fps. Panorama mode is working. Some things are buggy that we'll discuss later. ROM has lots of customizations available under the Blissify tab of the setting. Like QS panel animations, button customizations, gesture control, lost screen customization, QS panel setting and status bar customizations. Theme customizations will available with the fonts, icon pack, signal, Wi-Fi, icon shapes, and navbar style customizations. Under the miscellaneous setting, you get some different and unique features like show clipboard overlay tile, ignore windows secure flag, which will help to take the screenshot of secure banking application or payment application which is disabled by the Google. Unlock higher FPS in the games, which will help to enable the 90 FPS in games like BGMI, but I didn't test it until now, so I can't confirm it's working or not. As ROM is officially supported, we get the system OT updater within the settings application. ROM comes with the Blissify Home Launcher which has tons of features like theme icon for the dock and the app drawer icons. Lots of recent spanner shortcuts are available. Under the miscellaneous setting, we get the new and the more improved taskbar, which has taskbar with the app drawer and the dock applications. It's working smoother than previous versions. When we long press on the any application, we get the shortcuts for the dock applications too. These are all the features of this new custom ROM. Now let's take an overview of all the Android 14 features which was added by the Google in Android 14. 
they are self explanatory here so just take a look If you ask me about the performance of the device after using the Bliss OS, I can say it's a blissful experience. Every touch has the quick response, scrolling, sliding within the phone feels more buttery smooth. Stock AMI UI is a sluggish in front of this ROM. When I did the Geekbench test, I got the score of 568 and 1600 for the single and multi-core respectively. For GPU graphics performance, we got the score of 1156 and 982 for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics respectively. My OnePlus 6 has better scores as compared to this device. I think it has a lower Snapdragon variant that is Snapdragon 730G. Still in the real life on this ROM, device didn't feel laggy, it's smooth with the constant 120Hz refresh rate. Now it's time to show you the bugs or the issues and the missing features in the ROM. I don't know some sensors like the accelerometer, compass, gyroscope are not working on my device, but one user reported me that these are working on his device with this custom ROM. So it may be my device specific bug. Next issue I found is about the device play protects showing device is uncertified. So we can't able to install the applications like Netflix or some other applications from the Play Store. But we can install them via third party app stores. Like I told previously some camera bugs are there that are no portrait effects I found in the main and the selfie portrait camera shots. 4K 60fps recording is not working, it's causing the force close of camera application. Similarly, photosphere mode is also causing the camera force close. I didn't found the Android 14 new AI which generated wallpapers and AI emojis features under the wallpapers and style setting. So these are some major bugs but they all are normal, not a deal breaking to use this ROM as a daily driver. I am using this ROM from last 4 days and it's working absolutely fine. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for Poco X2. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.